I think this might be number 10. 10, actually. He said two to four cycles. <laughs> so I had my CT scan because I ran a temperature recently. Um, wasn't too long after I got back from Arizona, I started running a fever of 103.4. Woke up in the morning and shivering. Um, I believe it was Tuesday morning. But I was supposed to have a CT scan Wednesday, so they had me come in and do it that Tuesday. And everything looks good. All my labs look good. The cancer's continuing to shrink. It's shrunk some areas over 75%. But I didn't misunderstand. Dr. Daniel did confirm Dr. Gordon does not feel at this time, or um, I don't know if he ever will. He doesn't sound hopeful that he can ever operate and remove it like we had originally hoped. <clears throat> so we're going to try immunotherapy and some other type of drug that acts um, like chemo, but it's orally taken. Anyway, um, I'm here. There's my chemo. And here's my port. <laughs> and I had this, had this accessed twice the other day, just day before yesterday, I think, and had got stuck in both arms, so I got stuck four times, but at least I didn't feel up my port twice, so that's good. They're really good here. So. I wanted to wear something easy access, so easily access, thankfully. But um, thank you for all who are still praying for me. Please don't stop. <laughs> I appreciate the prayers, and know that they're, I'm always praying for you and your families. I'm wearing this because <clears throat> although I've not ran a fever today, I didn't want to take any chances and get anybody sick. So I'm trying to always be mindful of others in here because I would want them to do the same for me. Anyway, I love you all and uh, I thank you for thinking of me and praying for me so much, more than you know. And uh, I hope you all had a happy 4th of July. Praying that you all, you and your family got together and um, celebrated the birth of our nation. Anyway, thanks a lot. Sorry for the shaky camera. Bye. Bye.